G'day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So the Hover Air X1 Pro and Pro Max recently got a firmware update adding a new flight mode and a few other updates as well. So we're going to take a quick look at that in this video. It's pretty impressive the updates that the X1 Pro and Pro Max have received. They've added a lot of new features. Now not just little features, they've added complete new flight modes, enhanced existing flight modes. So it's kind of an evolving product and some of these new features that they're adding aren't just gimmicky things really useful, including the one we're going to be demonstrating today. So let's go ahead here. We're going to take a look at the release notes and uh, there's an update for the beacon as well. So you will have to connect the beacon to the drone and that will update it. But you can see here they've added a new feature called Copilot. That's what we're going to mainly be demonstrating today. It's where you can make adjustments while the drone is tracking you. Before you would have to set your height and distance before you launch the drone. But now while flying, you can actually adjust the distance, the height, and the angle at which it's following. They've added a new 30 meter height option when using bird's eye mode and a 15 meter and 30 meter distant option when using the zoom out. Now in 360 spin mode, you can adjust the speed, the rotation speed. You can make it faster or slower. You can see they've added support for raw photos in DNG format, added a crowd aware smart ascend in cycling mode, improved height control performance in side track and dolly track modes. So a lot of really interesting features. But what we're going to be looking at today is Copilot. Now you can utilize Copilot both while using the beacon or if you have the hover connected to your smartphone, you can make those adjustments on both devices. So again, you will have to update the beacon, just connect it to the hover and it will transfer over the update once you've updated the hover to the latest firmware. Now this new Copilot feature works in follow mode, it works in dolly track and it works in side track as well. Now I'm going to demonstrate in follow mode. So we'll put it in follow. Now before we can use that feature, we do have to enable it in the settings on the beacon. And to do so, we're just going to be in the mode that we want to utilize it in. So right now I'm in follow. I'm going to swipe up from the bottom. And you can see there we have an option called Copilot. So you just want to make sure you toggle that on. So now while flying, we can use this joystick on the left hand side to go from side to side or we can press the up and down arrow to move it farther away or bring it closer to us. And then we can use the right hand button here. We can raise it and lower it by pressing up and down. So let's just do a quick demonstration of that. I'm gonna launch the hover. So right now the hover is following me. We have it set to mid and you know, this is how it normally would be. If you wanted to change the attributes later, we would have to land it and change the attributes. But now, as mentioned, we can use these buttons. So for example, if I want to lower it, you can see I can use the beacon here. I can raise it up higher. So now it's going to follow me from that higher position. But the other thing we can do is we can make it follow us from farther away. So I can put it back to there. And again, it's just gonna to continue to track me. So yeah, it works really well. And as mentioned, we can also move it from side to side if we want it over there a little bit more, or we can move it this way. And now it's gonna, again, just continue tracking me. So this essentially is like a new hybrid mode. You've got the best of both worlds. You can have the drone track you and follow you, but you can make some adjustments in real time. And this is gonna be very beneficial for those who are on a bike. You could have the beacon mounted on a handlebar, and as you're biking and you wanna adjust the, the height at which it's following you or the distance, you can easily just touch those buttons and make these changes in real time while it's still recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and land it here and I'll show you how it works with Dolly Track as well. Bird eye dolly track. So we've just enabled Dolly Track, so I'm going to go ahead and Middle. launch it here dolly again. Track. So it's locked onto us. So with Dolly Track, you got to keep moving, otherwise it will stop tracking. But as you can see here, I can raise it up while it's still doing the tracking. I can lower it. And I can send it farther away from us. So there it's still locked onto us and it's still doing the dolly track. So a wonderful little update from Hover. This is going to be very beneficial to a lot of people. 
As mentioned, when they make these updates, they don't just make updates that are gimmicky. These are really useful updates that a lot of people are going to utilize and just really enhances the functionality of the hover drone. Now, of course, when you want it to stop tracking you, you just have to stand still here and then the drone will just come right back to you. Put our hand out. And there we go. So yeah, folks, just a quick look at the new co-pilot mode on the Hover Air X1 Pro and Pro Max. Really handy feature. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.